good morning all so here uh, we are constructing uh, development of the rectangular prism here so <coughs> first uh, we will be drawing an xy line of thickness 0.13 mm okay then i'll be mentioning xy and bphp that is first quadrant can see here uh, the angle line we should draw to 40 degree so for that i will be giving minus 140 degree ok then i will measure the angle then i will construct a rectangle of dimension 30 into 20 i will go to rectangle by center I will select a thick line 0 0.50 and enter 30 into 20 width 30 height 20 so I am just placing it now using move command I am going to select that entire thing and place it with that corner position here now using rotate I am going to place it ok now you can give the namings here and the dimensions you can give the naming that is A, B, C, D that is A, that is B, that is C and that is D ok now we have to find out the center of this rectangular prism so I will be drawing diagonals thin diagonal lines here I will be marking that as O center of the axis Okay, now I am drawing the projection lines. Okay. Okay, now we have to see the axis length. The axis length is it is sixty mm. So first I'll drawing an axis line for 60 mm ok 60 enter and all those lines with the continuous line I will drawing for 60 mm can show the dimension here now we have to draw an section plane ok section plane so for that <coughs> front view so I will be mentioning here only a dash so however given in the solution book so I am following the same procedure here ok we have to draw in section uh, line at an angle of 45 degree exactly at the midpoint of the axis so I am going to split the axis exactly at the middle point ok so that I can show the dimensions also ok now I am drawing an angle for 40 degree that is section plane for that I will select an axis 
okay using extend to next command i'm going to extend this line okay so the upper port upper portion of that uh, cut part i'm going to make it thin and the lower part we should make it as a thick line okay using the split command i'm going to split it where exactly it has been cutted okay so it will be easy for us to do the thick and thin line differentiation difference we can able to create it okay now i can select the lines and make it thin now so we have to write the numbers where the actually actually cutting has happened so we mention one is exactly occurring at the vertical edge a and two is occurring at the b and three is occurring at the c and four it is exactly occurring at the d point so we are getting the exact points here so by doing the splitting so it will be convenient for us when we draw the projection lines it will be helpful when we do the development here okay so now we are starting the development so i'll make that line as continuous so every time you just check in uh, which type of line you are using it so that it will be helpful okay okay now you can see it is an rectangular prism so i'll be starting with a from a to b you can just see it is 20 mm so i'll be using offset command i'll be giving the distance of 20 okay give the distance of 20 enter so you have to take it on the forward side you have to make sure here You may be getting on either side. You have to make sure you have to get it on the forward side. Okay. Twenty. Next from that is your point B, capital B. Next from B to C it is thirty mm. Three zero. Again, you use the offset and give thirty. Enter. So we're getting thirty. Okay, next. So that is your point C. Now from C to D again, it is twenty mm. Again, go to offset, select the line, and click and enter. Click on the forward side so that you will get twenty mm exactly on the right side. So that is your point C and D. Now from D to E again it is 30 mm. So again go to offset, give 30, enter. So we have to get it on the forward side. So in order to go back, you can enter a control Z. Okay, you'll get it. you that is a now we will be projecting the lines from the here the cut points sometimes we can project it sometimes you have to measure the distance if it is occurring uh, exactly on the vertical edges so we can uh, directly just projecting it we get it as we are getting in this problem okay but if you do not get it on the vertical edges then in those cases you need to measure the distance but in this case you are getting everything on the vertical edges of a b c d so just by projecting the lines horizontally we can get the exact points on the vertical edges okay now we can mention 1 2 3 4 here that is 1 and that is 2 that is 3 
that is 4 now we can uh, join here from 1 to 2 ok then 2 to 3 then 3 to 4 and 4 to 1 and then we can join ok now the upper portion of it using the split command I am going to split it so that I will make it as a thin line using the split command I can do it so that the retained cut portion remaining cut portion we can show it in the dark line I think it is not cut it exactly so we need to cut it properly you can zoom in okay zoom in and select the exact point so that it will get splitted okay zoom and see it exactly okay now we can select each of these lines and make it thin okay can select individually each of these lines and make it thin ok zoom in and select and make it 0 0.13 ok ok so this completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notification and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from this channel thank you all